Oh my god, that shower felt amazing. I just got off the plane, I just got back from Toronto, and I'm so tired. I really don't even want to film this unboxing, however, I want to get this out to you guys as soon as possible because I know a lot of my fellow YouTube compadres do not have this piece because they were unable to cop because this thing sold out so freaking fast. But you already know I got it. It doesn't take much and that's messed up because these people do a lot of simple shit to impress us while everyone was trying to outdo the last man. What up, YouTube? Welcome to the song. And today we will be showing off the Supreme Stone Island Puffer Coat. And yes, we got it in the most hyped colorway. Now, I actually have a bunch of Supreme to unbox from the week prior to this drop. However, I want to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. I know a lot of people haven't reviewed it yet. And I want to go into detail about this piece. So that way, if you are considering paying those ridiculous overpriced resale prices, then you can kind of make your decision or hopefully it'll help you make your decision as to whether or not you want to or not. A lot of people say that they like my videos because I'm informative and sometimes when I do the really big unboxings, I don't really have the chance to go into as much detail about the products or the materials or the quality just because I'm showing off so much stuff and I don't want the video to be 30 minutes long. However, in this video, I'm only showing off a couple items so I will have more time to actually go into detail and discuss the piece, which I think is somewhat important since this piece is so expensive. Now, that being said, I am kind of on the fence as to whether or not I'm going to resell it. I know no matter what, I'm going to take some pictures in it. I didn't plan on reselling it. However, it does fit a little bit big. I'm going to get your guys' opinions on that, and I'll show you guys how it fits me and why. But no matter what, I will be getting some photos in this, so definitely make sure you go follow my Instagram. My Instagram is at the Starlight. There'll be some on the screen in the description below. I have the craziest outfit that I'm going to wear with this. The outfit is so insane. It's not something that I would really wear out in public, but it'll make for some really dope photos that I think you guys will appreciate. So if you would like to see those, make sure you follow my Instagram and hopefully I'll get those out to you guys as soon as possible. It'll probably take me like a week or two before I actually post them. I need to find the right location and all of that, do some investigative research, but the photo is going to be insane. Now let's get to this unboxing. We got the black blade, which we actually don't really need for this first box, which we're just gonna go over the Stone Island first, but I did get a couple other items besides just the Stone Island. Let's take it out of this huge freaking little uh, body bag. And as you can see, we have the Supreme Stone Island Puffer Jacket. Now this thing is kind of crazy. I like this print, right? I mean, look, my bed sheets literally are very similar. I think my bed sheets look a little bit cooler than this print because this kind of has more of like a yellow tint to it as opposed to this, which has more of like a vintage vibe. I thrifted these bed sheets and I know some people are like, what, you thrifted your bed sheets? That's so gross, guys. It's something called a washing machine. I got those bed sheets for $3, by the way, like two years ago. Supreme Stone Island exclusive bed sheets? What? <laughs> Clickbait. So when Supreme did this print or they released it, they were doing a floral print such as this, I was quite stoked. I was excited. I can say though, I think some of the other speculated silhouettes or styles, in my opinion, were a little bit cooler. The fit is just kind of crazy to me. And on top of that, I just feel like a lot of people that like this piece only like it because it's Supreme Stone Island. Like they would not like this piece if it did not have this little crest on the back. I know for a fact because I have some items, I have a lot of floral stuff that I love. Like I love floral prints and they are really hard to pull off in an everyday fit. But like I said, I feel like Everyone should kind of ask themselves first before even copping this item, like, why do you like it? Do you like it because it's Supreme Stone Island, or do you genuinely think this is a sick design? Because I can tell you, a lot of brands have done things that are very similar to this, and you will see that when I post that picture on Instagram. There's a pair of pants that I have that are very similar to this that were not that hyped. But, of course, Supreme Stone Island, if they would have made pants exactly like this with this exact same print, that shit would have gone out in eight seconds. This sold out in six seconds. And just for any doubters, yes, I copped it manually. I honestly was thinking about using a bot but also like if i if i use a bot and the bot doesn't work i'm going to be pissed that i use the bot and i'm even mad at the bot and i know that i'm really quick at checking out and i honestly didn't think the sell time was going to be six seconds like i genuinely don't understand how it was six seconds because when i added to cart it took like a second and a half to two seconds to even add to my cart like i hit that little button and it was just frozen like it just didn't do anything and i was like like confused, I was like, what's going on? I, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I was tripping, I was so hyped. I actually plan on doing a little skit on Instagram with this, but anyways, the hype behind this, I was pretty surprised, but at the same time, I think it's just because they didn't really make a lot of them in store. I think I heard they only had like four or five of them, and they were just extremely limited. So I don't necessarily think that it was just tons of people buying them, because I haven't really seen a lot of people that actually was able to acquire this, but I just think that this particular item was pretty limited in terms of numbers produced. Now this jacket's pretty thick, it fits kind of weird, but I also got a size large. Now the, another reason I went for a size large is I heard differing opinions on the sizing. 
I was told that you should go true to size, but being that I was going for it manual, I knew that I was kind of risking it if I went for a medium because I knew that a lot of people would it's always this order, right? Smalls, mediums, larges, extra larges. That's the order it always sells out. So I went for a large because I knew that a large would sell out after a medium and me going for a medium is a little bit more risky. That being said, it does fit a little bit baggier than I would like if it's a little bit bigger. And I don't know. I'm also just not a huge fan of puffy coats anymore. Like I used to wear puffy coats when I was in high school, like Sean John puffy coats and stuff. And I don't know, it's just it's just not for me. But I will try to incorporate some B-roll of like how this looks on body for you guys. Getting into some of the actual details, yes, this is made by Stone Island. Now, one of the big differences is that if you order this from Supreme, you got that little body bag. And if you ordered it from Stone Island or if you got it from Stone Island, it came in this big freaking like suit bag where you can like unzip it. It's like a it's like a Stone Island like duffel bag that you can like unfold and it's it's like a garment bag, basically. We used to use them when I was in the military for like our blues and stuff like that. I kind of wish that Supreme would have shifted out with that. That would have been insane. The quality of this is, it's decent, but it's not worth a thousand dollars. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna BS you guys. Obviously, if you really want it because it is a rare item and you want to have it in your collection, then I understand. But it to me, it's not really worth a thousand dollars. The quality is decent. This is the Lamy 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 cover Stampado, and it says this garment is made in a hyper light Lamy nylon. I don't know what Lamy nylon even is. I have no idea what that means. The artwork is all digitally printed, and then it has like a polyurethane film over the artwork. I don't know if that's just to like protect it. But the one thing about that is it kind of gives it like a. It almost makes it feel kind of cheap. Just I think the polyurethane film is what I'm feeling, but it just doesn't feel right and on top of that I really don't like how yellow it is I wish it was a little bit more faded like I pointed out with my bed sheets I think that would have been a lot sicker in my opinion the plus side of this thing is it will keep you extremely warm and it is super lightweight and I don't know exactly why it's so light because I would expect it to honestly be a little bit heavier due to what kind of jacket this is but it is really really light now some minor details if you want to bring it in you have little buttons on the side right here so you can actually button these I like this touch because if you're hiking, you can actually button that in. You can tighten it around your waist and allow less air to come up. And it will give it more of like a, I guess like less of a baggier look. Another big thing that a lot of people really, <laughs> they noticed in the lookbook and it made them, it, I guess it made this piece more sought after, is this thing right here, the face mask. A lot of people saw this or I guess like ski mask. It's a face mask. It's just basically attached with like Velcro around the hood. And then you can actually attach it inside the hood with these two little buttons on the bottom. It does have this Stone Island Supreme crest on the front. You got some branding that a lot of people enjoy. A lot of people were actually hoping that this was going to be a separate ski mask. And I agree. That would have been really dope. However, that being said, that would have sold out way quicker than the jacket. That would have been the first item to sell out. And it probably would have lasted maybe three or four seconds. Now, I like that touch. I think that's really dope. Especially because as someone who actually hikes and uses like heavier jackets to go hiking, that's a nice thing to have because it'll help keep your face warm and then I don't really need to carry a separate gaiter or a separate face mask on me when I'm hiking through the snow. And yes, I do plan on taking this thing to the actual mountains and putting it to the test. If you guys want me to make a video about that, instead of just doing pictures, you can let me know by smashing that freaking like button. If this video gets enough love, I will gladly make a video of me hiking up a mountain, a snowy, crazy mountain with this jacket. Like I said, I don't know if I plan on keeping it forever. I will definitely keep it for a little bit. However, that being said, it's just one of those items that's kind of hard because it's a thousand dollars. Like that is a ridiculous price and I honestly don't think it's worth it. So that's just my opinion for you guys watching as a consumer. I want to give you guys my honest opinion and let you guys know whether or not I think you guys should spend your money on something. Another few details to go over real quick is the pockets on the outside do have a button enclosure. I'll try to get a close up if this is not a good enough camera angle and also it does have a pocket on the inside I was somewhat let down with the pocket on the inside because it just has like a little I don't know it has like a normal button let me get up and actually show you this it has like a normal button that you have to like push through which the reason I don't really care for that is one I don't feel like it's as durable as like having one of these types of buttons and on top of that it takes more time to either button or unbutton it as opposed to just having a little snap button that I can just take out any time. I also wish that they would have more pockets on this thing. Like one thing I like about North Faces is that oftentimes they have a lot of pockets and a lot of things for storage. Also this whole hood does come off which is a nice touch and the reason for that is because to be honest, uh, this hood looks a little bit ridiculous. The downside is that you can't actually use the face mask without the hood, but really, why would you want to, I guess? I mean, if you're actually using this for hiking or using this to stay warm, then you'd want the hood on anyways. And one last detail is on the hood, it has this little metal clasp that has 
the Stone Island crest on that as well and I think that's a nice little touch. These are all made by Stone Island which is the reasoning for the ridiculous price tag. These are not Supreme items or these are not made by Supreme and then you know slapped with Stone Island branding. It's the exact opposite. Overall I mean it's a dope jacket. I actually really like the pattern. I know a lot of people don't but like I said in my personal opinion not really worth it. You have the tag right there of course. I see a lot of people taking pictures of the tags on. Just If you're gonna take a picture I just take that shit off. Now getting into the last couple items. I got one item from that same week and then I also want to go over this bag that I got because if you guys watched the last unboxing you guys know I did not get any of the blood and semen stickers and I have one more package that I did not show you guys. I told you guys that I had two more tees coming and I have one more package coming or I had one package coming and I'm really, really curious to see if I actually got a blood and semen sticker in this one. I did! Yes! Oh man! So as you guys can see, I got a blood and semen sticker right there. I got a box logo right there and then I got a, uh, another little Piss Christ sticker as well. Now I'm really glad that I got that blood and semen sticker and the reason for that is because I had a lot of subs offering to just give me one and like I could have probably gotten like three or four of those and sold them but I don't want to take free stuff or like accept something from a subscriber if I can get it myself so I've kind of like if you're a subscriber and you're watching this and you try to give me a blood and semen box logo and you notice that I wasn't responding as quickly as I probably could have if I wanted some free item um, the reason for that is because I didn't want to take someone's item if I was going to get one in the mail. So thank you to everyone who offered me one. Thankfully, I finally got one. Uh, but yeah, we have the Friends tee and then the Piss Madonna tee. Overall, both really dope. I showed these off in the last unboxing, so I'm not going to actually open these shirts. However, if you would like to see those, go check out my previous Supreme unboxing. Now, getting into the item that also sold out relatively quickly. I was pretty blessed to get this. I think it was like 45 seconds because everyone was going for the Stone Island stuff. I like collecting stuff like like this because I like having different like supreme containers to store like other supreme accessories or other supreme goods in. Oh this is the you're gonna die sticker the small one. I got the big one I don't have any of the small ones. Anyways this is heavy. Okay so we have the supreme lock box. Now I might end up buying another one of these if someone can you know hook me up with a good price and I probably will because I would I would definitely like to have a couple of these in my collection. This is really nice. It's like a metal. I really honestly expect this to be a plastic. You have the keys inside. Oh, the keys have the Supreme little box logo on them too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the keys have like a little Supreme box logo etched into it. So that's a nice little touch. It's just an empty little lock box. There's no like different containers or anything like that. But of course it has that Supreme branding across the front and mine actually, wow, that's kind of crappy. If you guys look right here, you can see that there's actually a little bit of like damage like it came like that but whatever i don't really care because i don't really plan on reselling this or anything this is my personal and i just plan on keeping it so i don't really care if there's a little bit of damage because to be honest it's probably gonna get scratched up anyways all right so that is it for this unboxing like i said we don't have a lot of items but i wanted to just kind of go over that stone island piece in a little bit more detail for you guys i kind of touched on sizing a little bit but just so you guys are aware or i can make it more clear the sizing is true to size if you're a medium get a medium if you're a large get a large i do have a ton of stuff to unbox so if you guys would like to see that of course smash that like button i will drop another supreme unboxing next week with all the stuff that i copped the week prior to this and i have a bunch of other unboxings and just dope videos coming out this week so definitely if you're not subscribed subscribe and turn on notifications like i said earlier if you'd like to see some pictures of me rocking that stone island jacket follow me on instagram my instagram is at the star line that'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below thank you guys so much for watching and if anyone is curious which you, you guys might have been, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if I show this piece off, but this is a 2014 rib logo tee. This piece is sick. It's my favorite rib logo. It's Supreme, if you're ever watching, please make this same exact rib logo tee, right? With the bottom little rib logo graphic right there uh, in a short sleeve. Please. Please. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. Like I probably already said, as always, keep living the star life. And uh, yeah, Supreme, Stone Island, forever. You gotta understand the modern man must hustle I will show you all you need to know You must hold on to anyone that wants you And I will love you